Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Napkin AI to make money. Before we start, hurry up and check out these software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering how do you start making money through the use of Napkin AI. Well, using Napkin AI is something really essential first here, and you need to know how to exactly uh, fully utilize this. So in this case, what we need to do is we need to go to napkin.ai here, and we want to go ahead and basically start creating our account. Now, first, let's go to our pricing page here. Now, there are going to be different plans that you could get for Napkin AI. Now, in this case, we have the starter plan, which is, in this case, is going to be free all the time. Now, you could also use a professional plan here, which in this case, during the beta phase, the account or the plan itself is free for, again, for testing purposes. Now, they also have the enterprise plan here that will be soon will be available. But in this case, go and choose the professional plan here since we can use it for free. Let's go and click on get started. And from here, we want to go ahead and sign in with either our email or Google account. So maybe I want to use my Google account. Now, from here, what we need to do is we just need to follow the on-screen steps. I want to go and choose my Google account here. And from here, let's go and click on continue to confirm. And it's going to start loading our account. So this might take a while, so let's just uh, wait for this one. Now, it's going to ask you a few questions. So how are you planning to use Napkin? So for example, I want to use this for work. Let's go and click on next. And from here, what we need to do is we need to answer how big is our company. So let's just answer just me. And how, what kind of work do you do? So maybe I'm into design and click on X. Now from here, where are you planning to use napkin visual? So for example, I want to use this for presentations, social media content, and also maybe for like cluster, customer communications and just click on submit. Now it's going to say, thanks, you're set. Oh, we are now set. Let's go ahead and click on done. And from here, we could just basically immediately start using the platform itself. Now, to first create our napkin, let's go and click on the create my first napkin. And you have two options. So we have the by pasting text, my text content, which in this case, you could copy your own content and paste it in here and get a visual represent, representation for that. But you could also use the by generating text using AI. So for example, let's go and choose by generating text in AI. So we want to enter a prompt here that we could use. So maybe I want to use one of the following options here, but again, you can type your own. So maybe I want to say a brand proposal for a plant care company. Let's go and choose this one and click on continue. Now it's going to start writing, or in this case, the AI will start writing here. Now in this case, text will be immediately generated here. As you can see, there's going to be a lot of generated text here. So yeah, so once it's actually fully generated, you could go ahead and basically select all the following text or sections here. And if you want to generate a visual representation that you can go and click on a generate visual on the specific, uh, this case, uh, fire gap, let's go and choose this one. And it's going to start generating our visual representation for this one. So in this case, if like, for example, if you have an, a book that you want to get like illustrations on, you could go ahead and use the following option. Now, the great thing about Napkin AI here is you could choose how you want it represented. Now, we have our, in this case, the uh, kind of drawing way here. We have our spectrum. We also have our branches and also this uh, uh, icons here that you could utilize. Now, there's going to be a lot of styles that you could choose from here, so you could go and choose whatever you want. But as for this example, maybe I want to use this one. Let's go and select this one. Now, there are going to be further customization this way, like for example, the color that you want to use. So as an example, maybe I want to use uh, this one. Let's go and select it. Now, in this case, you can go ahead and basically start organizing this one. Like for example, you can change the actual text. You can change the color, the thickness, the patterns, the style. So obviously, there's going to be a lot of things that you could uh, change here. You could also change the following borders if you want to. So if you want to make this one or use this one or use this one, you could go ahead and use that. Now, if you want to disable that, you could go ahead and click on the border again. Now you could go ahead and click on open group here if you want to uh, basically select individual assets here and basically change the colors on it. Like if you want to, you can change the uh, actual color and yeah. Now, in this case, if you want to do this for other sections as well, you just need to click on the paragraph that you want to basically add a representation from. Again, you should be able to see the same thing here. You should be able to click on the Thunder icon and start generating and start choosing your design. So let's just choose this one. And maybe I want to use this one. 
Now, you might be wondering how do we exactly start using this to make money? Well, alone, the napkin AI uh, tool that we're using right now, uh, you won't be able to make money by itself. So you need to utilize other platforms for, in order for you to hopefully earn some, uh, in, or in this case, earn some money if you want. So in this case, you could use other platforms like, for example, this is an example like, for example, Canva. So Canva is a platform that allows you to create posters or in this case, infographics like what you see right now. Now, you might be wondering, how do you connect? How do you utilize this one? Well, the great thing about Napkin AI is you could actually download the text order design that we see here. So if you highlight the whole thing here, as you can see, I can press and hold on the other area and highlight all the text here. I could basically click on the download button here and from here, I could choose whatever I want. Like for example, I want to use a PNG. I could even save this to my clipboard. So let's go and copy this one. And when we actually go back into Canva and paste our design, like for example, I want to delete or I want to change this one. Let's go and delete this one and basically just paste it. As you can see, we can use that design on our posters. Now, in this case, instead of using like, for example, a paid resources online, you could use Appkin AI here to make customized uh, illustrations for you uh, that is customized to, or tailor uh, customized to your customers. Now, in this case, since we're talking about customers, where can you get your customers? Like for example, if you're creating a posters, infographics here, where do you get your order? Well, in this case, you could use a freelancing website. Now, this is just one of the example that you could actually access, so which in this case is going to be Fiverr. Now, in Fiverr, you could basically create posters for different clients. You can create different projects that you might want to sell to different clients, which in this case, we actually have a bunch of tutorials for that, so make sure to check out our channel. So, charity speaking, if you want to make money through use of Napkin AI, you won't be able to use it or utilize it as it is. You need to use other platforms to aid you on basically start earning money. Now, in this case, uh, for example, if you're also building a book that you want to sell, you could use Napkin AI here for easy access on getting your illustrations. But then again, there are going to be a lot of, of other steps or a lot of, a lot of other ways you're actually to start earning through the use of Napkin AI. Maybe selling books, getting illustrations, uh, using it for, uh, in this case, uh, freelancing websites. So it actually depends on how what type of venture you want to go out. Like for example, again, if you want to be a freelancer that works on design, well, you, in this case, you could use the uh, Napkin AI here to build your assets, which is something really cool, especially it's going to be a lot more, or it's going to be a lot easier because if you're going to build the actual uh, design here, as you can see right now, this will, go, this will take a lot of time, which in turn, um, in this case, limit the um, number of uh, your the, uh, your earnings in general so again it will make things a lot easier but yeah so in this case that's about it so if you found this video helpful hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video